Oh, look at the sunsets. Well, it looks like we're gonna get some good views. Nice. Do you wanna go explore the views? Ah, uh, look, there's our temporary home. to another day here at Universal Studios and this is our third day now. Yeah. It's getting hard, it feels so much longer. We say this all the time but we've crammed so much in it feels like we've been here for a week already. Which is a good thing because these Florida holidays ain't cheap. So yeah, it's a bit of a later start for us. It's well it's only gone ten AM to be fair. Yeah. But um yeah if you would have watched last week's vlog, we did horror nights last night, it beat the crap out of us. Physically and mentally to be fair. Yeah. Um I think we both woke up with our feet covered in blisters. Sore throat. Yeah. I don't know if that's from the screaming or all the fog. Oh yeah, all the smoke from the houses, yeah, blisters. But they're war wounds and we wear them with pride. Yeah. Yeah, but uh heading back into Universal Studios today, we're gonna explore that whole uh, park and then we'll be heading over and to City Walls tonight yeah. for some eats. So, yeah, join us. It's all the same as the laws, as the laws. Keep all your games as the laws, as the laws. It's all the same as the laws, as the laws. You can't come to Universal Studios without getting a picture of the Universal Globe. Good morning. Hi. Thank you. Have fun. Thank, Thank you. you. All good? Let's roll. Yeah, this is the Today Cafe. We never even realised this was here, but we saw Kim and Dan eat here over at Wizards and Walt, and we thought, yep, yeah, we'll give it a whirl. So, Thank you, Kim and Dan. So yeah, Rachel went for the ham, egg, cheese sandwich and it does look really good and healthy. And I probably should have gone for something similar, but I saw the chocolate eclair and well, here we are. So, that's that. <laughs> Chocolate in the middle. Oh, it's like cream. Mm -hmm. Nice. How is it? Very chocolatey. It's a nice healthy breakfast. That's exactly what that needed more chocolate. <laughs> okay. I didn't realise that they still keep the scare zone props out during the day. Like this was the cemetery that we walked through, which was actually our favourite, but I think the only reason for that was because it was very empty. It was almost like this, so you got a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with the uh, creeps and ghouls, yeah, hiding in there, jumping out at you. Yeah, just touching on Horror Nights again, we were talking when we got back last night, just how, how well the houses are built and themed. They are literal movie sets yeah. aren't they Incredible. like they're not just haunted houses you know you think of like a you know a, a pants house like you know they're movie sets i mean above you below you it's, it's a full-on movie set like the scale is incredible um but yeah we're just completely blown away by them Loved aren't it. we yeah. first ride of the day is et classic ride one of the ogs in fact the only og left in the park et isn't it yeah. the only og left Rachel repping E.T. on a lounge fly. Nice. I have said, I'm telling you, I said to you uh, early on in the holiday, Universal would make a killing if they opened up, like, rebuilt Jaws, Back to the Future, King Kong, wouldn't they? You know, yeah. if, they, if they completely rebuilt them. Retro Yeah, and brought that back. Yeah. It'd be mad, everyone would go mad for it. But yeah, so E.T., let's roll.
touched up on the mummy there. It was closed for a long period of time. How many months? Weeks? Uh, I think it was like three months. Yeah, they did a bit of a ride update in there. It did need a bit of an update in there, to be fairness. But then saying that, after we've just been on it, I can't see where them updates were. Yeah, I think they updated the fire scenes. I think they updated the screens, things like that. Yeah, so... Again, I'm trying to the same. Yeah, technical thing, but still an absolutely fantastic ride. Like Rachel did make a good point there, we'd like more coaster in there. Because it's yeah. like an indoor roller coaster in parts, but it's a lot of stopping. Uh, which is a lot of stopping style, I wish it was more coaster, but still a fantastic ride. And to be fair, one of our favourite here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And Rachel comes bearing gifts in the form of a pretzel and coke. Just had a quick little pretzel snack stop and uh, heading over onto Rip Ride Rocket now. And I don't know about anyone else, but this ride, I mean, I'm fine with roller coasters and I really enjoy this ride, but this is the only roller coaster that I go on that once I'm going up that first like climb, I'm thinking to myself, what the hell am I doing? Why am I going on this? Why do I do this to myself? And then once it drops, I'm loving it, but yeah, this is the only ride that I go on that uh, I seriously get really scared when it's going up. <laughs> How's it going? Can we get two of your famous Ocean Attack cocktails, please? We'll give it a whirl. Oh, they're famous, Murph. They're famous. <laughs> they're almost famous. <laughs> Let's fix you up. <laughs> Looks familiar. <laughs> <laughs> Blue. Let's get you one of those. The next guest waiting, I'll have you over here. Come on, sir. I'm good to see you. Hi. Hey, how are you today? Blue. Good, Zach. How are you? Good. How about Ray? <laughs> yes. Blue's yeah. coming for you. Blue vibe. Danny. Yeah, you know the routine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Shot in the water. Charles. He's got a question. He needs an answer. Where are you from? The UK. The UK. Is that why you moved us, man? Chop, 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 chop. And chop, 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 chop. Excellent. You're at Universal. It's sunny outside. They're long holidays. Chop, 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 chop. Those Excellent. <laughs> yeah, so we just grabbed two of these Ocean Attack cocktails. Right next to where the giant jaws is, you've got the uh, Chez Alcatraz. Yeah, Marv's awesome. We've seen him, few, we've seen him on a few people's vlogs, haven't we? Um, he actually mentioned to us that when we were paying off, Night Strider came and, and, and vlogged. Yeah, um, we do, well, we know of Night Strider. We've, we've spoken to him briefly. But um, anyway, yeah, he just said once Night Strider put out his video, he had an absolute swarm of people coming saying that uh, Night Strider had sent him. And it's just, it's crazy how it works. Considering he's a UK vlogger, you know, you'd think it'd be like the big uh, American vloggers like Tim Tracker and what have you that really give him his, um, his, his business. But yeah, cool guy. Um, excellent little show as well, if you're wondering where that is. Right next to the uh, Jaws. But yeah, go on, Rach, give that a, give that a go. I love the little um, gummies you get. Give it a little. Stir it. You do need to stir it. Yeah, because all the alcohol sits at the bottom. You can see it. It's all sat at the bottom. What you want to suck pure alcohol? I imagine this is going to be refreshing. Yeah, is it nice? Excellent. Yeah. It's not that strong. Yeah. Okay, that's good. The links people go to to get a good photo. <laughs> I mean, I'm not hating on it. <laughs> they got it. <laughs> oh, I'm loving this. Little universal dog getting a picture. This is a good people watching spot, this is. Ah, oh, I love it, love it. Ah. <laughs> oh. oh, he's got his souvenir photo. He's on his way. We ended up staying about what for an hour or so back there but to us that's exactly the kind of thing that we love to do like we found somewhere that was shaded quiet had some you know some nice background music nice drink but a nice view 
perfect. We'd love doing that. And it was a great people watching Spark, which is also something that we like to do. On that note as well, by the way, let us know in the comments, has anybody noticed or does anybody know of anything? You know Jaws, the, the picture uh, thing you can have. We saw a woman go up and she left a stone in its mouth. Um, and then another, about 10 minutes later, another woman came up, took the stone and left a gift, like... Something uh, in a bag? Yeah, like, like some kind of wrapped gift. And then somebody came and t took that. So is it some kind of online thing that you leave gifts in George's mouth? I don't know. But yeah, let us know if you know anything about that at all, or whether it's just a completely random chain of events that we saw. But that's a bit of your people watching. You know, you notice these things? <laughs> We are going to head on into the Bourne Stunt Show Spectacular now. This is something that we've never actually done. We did the Terminator show when that was a thing, but that hasn't been a thing for like, what, five years? The yeah, Terminator the show. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, we've never seen the, Bo the Bourne show, heard good things. So yeah, we're going to give it a whirl. Unfortunately, we can't record in there, but we'll be sure to give you our, uh, give you our review. That stunt show was absolutely fantastic. It's crazy how far technology's come. I know that sounds a really old thing to say, but it really is. Like the stage show, there's a huge 3D screen, but you don't have to wear 3D glasses. And then there's like actual sets on the stage as well. So you've got the 3D screen with the real sets. It's, it, it confuses you about yeah, yeah. How, how big the actual set is, but absolutely fantastic. Thoroughly recommend that if you are gonna do it. We just got back to Cabana Bay. We are gonna chalk it there for the day. We wanna go back, maybe get a couple of Z's because yeah, we're out on City Walk tonight. Um, Rachel got a coffee because apparently she's had a coffee with drawers. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we are gonna go uh, back to the room, like I said. We're heading over to, uh, is it Aventura Hotel? Aventura Hotel, yeah. Yeah, there's a really nice bar at the top of Aventura Hotel, which we said we wanted to drink at. So we're going to go drink there, and then we're going to head over to see you walk for a meal. We are rested, showered, changed, and ready to roll. Yeah, so we're heading over to Aventura Hotel. Very top floor. I'll literally show it you in a second. It's over there. But the very top floor, there's a really nice bar. Well, it looks like it's got an amazing view anyway. We're going to head over there, have a couple of drinks, and then I believe we can get some kind of boat transportation either from Aventura or Sapphire Falls. Sapphire Falls over to City Walk. Makes a change from getting the bus anyway. Yeah, so I can literally see this, see this giant building? That is a bar and that is our destination. Looks like you get a private elevator up to bar 17. I presume that's the bar we're going to. Yeah, push the button and wait. Please seat yourself. Oh, look at the sunsets. Well, it looks like we're gonna get some good views. Do you wanna go explore the views? Ah, uh, look, there's our temporary home. Yeah, so we were literally just down there a minute ago. Volcano Bay. You can see the parks from over this side as well. Rip Ride Rocket, I'm not sure how well you can see that. Just here by my finger. You can see it going up, see the flashing lights, like it's just going up vertically. Uh, and then you've got City Walk, kind of here. And then this is Sapphire Falls. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. Excellent. Thank you. You got it. Enjoy. Thanks. So yeah, first cocktails are up and we went with her recommendations. Oh, thank you. Um, she recommended me the one in a million. One in a melon, which is mine. And Rachel's gone for the... It's a rasp. It's a rasp. That's it, yeah. So, one in a million and it's a rasp. First cocktails of the night. Cheers. Nice. Yeah. It's yeah. quite um, a little bit bitter. Oh, see, you know, I wouldn't like that. No, you are. That's why I said that one Yeah, I like a nice sweet cocktail. I thought I'd give you a more in detailed look at bar 17. So the actual main bar area is located right here in the middle. And then either side, wrapped all around actually, you've got like seating areas, little sofas, bar stalls. They are quite low, these little bar um, sofa areas, but don't worry about that. They're actually really, really comfortable. Uh, but you've got like, you know, tables and chairs here, or you can sit up at the actual bar itself. 
Um, the views are absolutely incredible, what a 360 degree view of Universal Studios. It reminds me very much so of um, Coronado Springs, uh, Grand Destino Tower. It has exactly the same kind of feel where you're in like a, um, you know, you're in a high rise looking out over Disney World, except in this case you're looking out over Universal. Phenomenal views though, obviously Volcano Bay there looks absolutely incredible, all lit up at night. And then just opposite that, you've got International Drive. I presume you can just, ma just about make that out. But yeah, you get really nice views, really nice drinks, really nice views. It's a really nice, uh, really nice vibe in here as well. Um, and yeah, and we're over here, and it looks like our next round's up. Hello. So for round two, I copied Rachel. Uh, I really like the taste of yours. So uh, yeah, you doubled up on it as well, didn't you? Sapphire Falls, we're going to get the boats over to City Walk. We have just, I don't know whether you guys can make it out, we just missed one, typical fashion, but we don't mind waiting, we're not in any rush. We're on holiday! <laughs> so yeah, we're going to wait for the next one to come along, take us over to City Walk, and we think we're going to go to, well, there's a couple of options, isn't there? Big Fire. Yeah, there's a place called Big Fire which caught our eye, we're going to go check the menu over um, at that place, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Rachel has gone for the chicken with the dumplings and grilled vegetables. It does look really nice actually. And I went for the steak with french fries. And the thing I like about these is it's skin on fries. You don't get too much of that apart from like french fries but not chunky style chips like these. These do actually look really nice. The 
food at Big Fire there was absolutely amazing, wasn't it? Really yeah. nice, really, really nice. There was a really cool dessert as well, which we were looking at, but we just didn't have the stomach for. It's basically like a s'mores, so they bring out a little fire, put it on the middle of your table, and give you some sticks and marshmallows, and you make s'mores. But we were just too full, but uh, definitely in the memory bank for next time. Uh, unfortunately, we're done. It's just got, what time is it? It's got midnight. 10 past 11. Oh, close to midnight, yeah, it's 10 past 11. And we're just wiped. We really wanted to go out into City Walk and have an, another drink or two, but our, um, our uh, bodies are just laughing at us, just like, <laughs> nah, not tonight guys, not tonight. Yeah, we just crashed, which is really unfortunate, but it's, there's two ways of looking at it, because I'm sure you guys do the exact same. When you sat at home and you're planning these trips, you, you write out plans, don't you? I want to do this, you this, 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 this. You have this massive list. When you get here and you've done 10, 12 hours in a park and everywhere else, Yeah. It's just like, you know, your, your body just rejects that list. Um, but like I said, on the flip side, that gives us more things to do when we come back. Yeah. So there's always something new to do when you come back. If you knock everything else out on your trip, if you knock everything else out on your trip, you not got anything new to do. Yeah, yeah. So there's always something new to do. So um, yeah, although we didn't drink on City Walk, we have eaten on City Walk. So we're slowly ticking off that list. We did have those fabulous drinks at, um, 17 bar, 17 bar yeah. yeah, we had those amazing cocktails there, which was really nice. We had those two drinks. I wouldn't have substituted those drinks for drinks here, yeah, you know. Nice, yeah, yeah like, like I said, though, leaves you with things to do when we come back. So, yeah, for today, that's a wrap, guys. Tomorrow, we are checking out of Cabana Bay and we'll be checking into Caribbean Beach over at Disney World, starting our Disney trip. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next week. See ya.